so far we discussed the problems having one set of brackets. We have seen that for expanding the brackets, we multiply the number outside the bracket with each number inside the bracket. The last question in the lesson was this. Before we discuss the solution, let me ask you a question. Is there anything different about this question? You must have noted that in this case, we need to multiply this two-digit number with this three-digit number. So the solution too will be approached in a different manner. Let's find out. We know 106 can be written as 100 plus 6. Therefore, we can start our solution by writing the expression like this. What does it indicate? Here we need to multiply 23 with 100 and with 6. Can we make it simpler? Yes, we can. The number 23 can be written as 20 plus 3. And the problem can now be expressed like this. Observe this carefully. We have a problem with two sets of brackets this time. In the earlier examples, we had only one number to be multiplied outside the brackets. However, in this case, there are two sets of brackets to be solved. So how are such cases simplified for expansion? Here you need to understand that we can consider 20 plus 3 as a single term. That means we will multiply the expression 20 plus 3 with both the numbers inside the second set of brackets. This means we will multiply 20 plus 3 with 100 like this. And also with the number 6 like this. Note that we have a plus sign in between the brackets. So we write the plus sign here. We can see that we now have two expressions with single set of brackets to solve. Isn't it easy now? Let's proceed with the solution. We will begin to solve the first part. What's the first step? Correct. We will expand the brackets like this. Hence, we get the two products as 2000 and 300. Next, we add the two products. Hence, we get the answer for the first part as 2300. Can you solve the second part in the same way? Here's the answer. It's 138. So what will be the final answer? We will add the solutions of both the parts. The final answer is 2438. Pause the video and go through it once. Note that in solving a problem with two sets of brackets, we need to ensure that each term in the first bracket is multiplied with each term in the second bracket. Let's see one more question. How will you start the solution? Let me help you with this. The number 17 can be written as 10 plus 7 and the number 109 can be written as 100 plus 9. So the problem can be expressed as follows. How will we expand these brackets now? In our previous example, we had seen that this is considered to be a single term. Therefore, we will multiply the term 10 plus 7 with both the numbers inside the brackets. Now we can solve both these single brackets by expanding the brackets. Give it a try. Here's the solution. So that's how expansion of brackets works. You can try some more examples on your own for better understanding.